look at this this is where I would be like okay I'm gonna actually comment on this post <laughs> Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about how do you know how do you make sure that people or your prospects take you seriously on Facebook or on any social media for that matter we're going to focus on Facebook obviously you can do similar things or the same things on other platforms but we're going to talk about how you can make sure that they take you seriously that they don't just think you're a scammer or that you're somebody else to get them we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so I mean you get messages from a bunch of people all the time I anyways I do right that just don't even bother to having a conversation or anything and then I go check out their profile and I can tell they're not they're either a brand new account or that kind of stuff so you don't want people to think that of you right if you're trying to build a business online even maybe you have a business and you have success in the offline world or maybe on Twitter and now you're trying to go to Facebook or on LinkedIn you've got success there and you're trying to go to Facebook I mean you have to follow certain things otherwise people are just going to think you're some random person right it's and we're going to talk about those things but before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis419.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to share my screen I'm going to kind of talk to you about this a little bit more and uh we're going to talk about a couple of things so let's get right to it let's go to Facebook right now let's share my screen here all right so this is my Facebook profile right so what you can what can you see when you look at my profile right you can see that I'm probably a family person right I have my daughters here my grandson right there and you can see that I'm an affiliate marketer uh you can see that I'm a kind of a well DevOps if you know what that is um anyways I'm into programming that kind of stuff and I've worked at companies like IBM and and Victoria's Secret right you see those things you can see that we have some family activities going on we you see that I post some things once in a while don't let failure stop you right you can kind of see that I'm you know have an idea of what I'm about right sort of right and that's one of the things obviously you want to have like if you have a profile if I go to other people's profiles I mean this guy here Praveen Kumar right code with Praveen right so he talks about learning programming simpler simpler tutorials and he's got online code uh, instructor with a link here and he's got a couple of pictures which look like just programming stuff and uh, that's it that's that's all he's got that's one of the things for me this is you know looks okay you know uh he's a programmer but he doesn't have well first of all he doesn't have any posts all he's got is a couple of these posts right uh, and we'll talk in a minute about what you should expect on a, what you should be doing on your profile but you know just look at what is it that you know when you look at these profiles right these I'm not I'm not picking on these people in particular it's just I just happen to go on these profiles see this person here has got a nice cover photo he's got a profile picture but that's it that's all he's got right um this one doesn't even have a cover photo right it's an older profile probably been around for a while May July 30th well that's a recent July 30th that's the other thing you look at is whether they post regularly or not and whether they post about stuff that you're interested in so we look at these profiles just to get kind of an idea of what you know is maybe you look at it you think to yourself this doesn't look like somebody I'd want to maybe contact right so how do you get to this point right of having a profile that's like this there's a couple things there's there's I'd say there's probably two things well three things maybe let's say three things I actually should have probably created a, a notebook a note note put it. let's just do a note here a note a text document let's just call it notes and I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to say oh uh, do I still have it there go okay so number one uh have a prof an, inv an inviting profile right inviting 
profile right number two whoops number two post regularly uh things that that your prospect will um you know relate to okay and now we'll get into that in a second how that works right but then number three you gotta have and you gotta engage on your perfect prospects posts okay so those are the three things that you need to do regularly like basically well obviously having an inviting profile is something that is a kind of a one-time thing I, I actually have an ebook that you can get if you want um for that I let me see if I I don't think I have the link here but let's just uh let's just uh duplicate a link here do, 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 do I have it I don't let's uh, duplicate this do copy and we'll call this where did it go I said copy but it didn't this is weird uh how about this one copy oh okay <laughs> uh da, da, da. I have to paste paste there we go okay so now uh I got to do, do, do. this will be uh prof profile profit cheat sheet uh rename hold on I'm sorry I'm doing this I probably should have paused the recording but anyways you can kind of see uh, to do things live um profile profit cheat sheet so this one here if I just make it uh, show up on the screen here so this one would be one of the things you'd want to go to ppc.jsgagnon.com if I go there let's just go to that basically ppc.jsgagnon.com so if I go there it'll take you to this page which is basically a pdf that's called profit profile cheat sheet that's that's the first step you want to make sure that your profile is a profile that people will actually be like oh this person looks like they're into whatever I'm looking for so you want to make sure that the, your profile is based on what your target market anyways you go here and just click get in and access basically what you're going to get is this this ebook here which basically kind of tells you what you need like first you need a profile picture you know I I, I I should have found examples but lots of people have you know logos or their animals or the whole family picture is a profile picture that kind of stuff there's it's this kind of explains why right why you want to have a profile picture you know and then your cover photo and should be something that kind of lets them know kind of about what you are maybe what you like it could be family it could be scenery it could be beach uh beach travel you know if you're into travel what in some say put a, li a link in there and put it uh, uh to a group knows that's maybe right but I that's not um it depends on what you're into right but some people have links like just for example like this this guy here right he had which one this one this one oh no the first one here he had he had this as his cover photo right code with prevent that I'm not saying to not do that or to do that it really depends on your um what you're trying to accomplish but let's just say that your your cover photo like this explains it I'm not going to go into that just go get that ebook at that link right and go get it but basically we talked about the text under your profile po photo the featured photos which nowadays is a uh, featured um featured uh stories now but in, but you should always have something on your profile that kind of lets people know to go check out okay what is it that you've done and this is stuff I did a while ago and you know if you're trying to sell a course online it doesn't matter what you're trying to do no matter what you're trying to do you have to have a profile that lets people see what you're about and there's a couple other things there's also you know what there's here's another note I should probably have make sure uh ensure your profile uh, your posts posts are public and uh comments are public too right so that this is number two this will be number three and I'll get into number four in a second so you gotta make sure so this is the this ppc.js going I'm gonna get it out of there but that's the link to go and get 
the uh the ebook that I just showed you that kind of basically covers this right have an inviting profile have a profile that they understand and uh, that's what that is okay I'll just get that out of there the thing you have to know though because before doing that number zero right and this um, you have to know who your audience target market target market or avatar is now if you don't know what that means there's lots of marketing you can google it but basically it's you have to know who they are so that you can talk to them in other words the language in your post the kinds of posts you know when I say you have to post regularly things that your prospect will relate to well you know you got to know who your prospect is right because if you if you're like okay I'm gonna uh everybody's my prospect well you're gonna post things about everything uh then you're gonna have like lots of confused people they're gonna look at the profile they're gonna see maybe one post they like but they're gonna see a post they don't like and you know how powerful something 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 somebody doesn't like is you know if you're for example if you're you're posting about cryptos and you're posting about which by the way I'm doing and I don't do it on purpose it's because I've got this automated thing which I probably have to clean up but if I post about that stuff and somebody's against crypto and they see this post about crypto in there they're gone they're not they're not gonna care that they like this other stuff people will react to what they don't like 10 a hundred times more than things they like right so if there's anything that your ideal prospect does not like on your posts they're gone so you got to be careful about that right and if you're like for me right my avatar is a marketer it's an online marketer he he's you know 30 to 50 he's got kids uh he he is into crypto so those kinds of things so that means that my avatar there's nothing on my profile they're going to be like oh I don't want this so if if you're if you're almost my prospect but you don't like cryptos well you're not going to want to be you're not you're going to go away right so that's kind of what that's about so you got to make sure that you know who your audience is your target market avatar and your offer right and the thing is that without knowing what your offer is it's really hard to create content that talks about what your offer you know gives people right so that's kind of what you got to do you got to have something that gives tells people what your offer is about now me I've, I post a lot of stuff that has to do with family that has to do with you know as you can see right here I got lots of but I did post a couple things right in your voice you know and I have this one here too and I got lots of comments on that right so the thing is that it's it's not easy to figure out what kind of content to post I'm probably not doing that great I do post once a week these course income secrets which one of the ones you're listening to right now or watching but um but you have to decide those things and this is one of the things that you know I'm not going to be I'm not going to tell you that I'm the, I'm the best at it but I understand it and I'm working towards it which is what you should be doing too you should be working with that okay so now have an invite like I said this would be uh get ebook at um uh, let's just say ppc dot okay so you get that there now ensure your posts are public and comments are public so that's another thing that's important because if you if you have people coming to your profile and your posts are all just like see if I look at some of these this one which one this one here right so this one here he has a single post which just updated his cover photo because updating your cover photo and your profile picture are public posts they're always public posts but anything else you post if you don't change it is going to be to your friends like see for me if I look at my profile you can see that everything I post uh let's see so almost everything so see this is a little world right here that means it's public this means it's public this one is not public and I this is one of the ones that was posted by automation through I think it was an Instagram post that automatically posts as a friends only post so that means that anybody who's coming to my profile who isn't a friend will not even see this which you know it doesn't it depends on what you're trying to accomplish right but you want posts to be public because if if everything is private like this guy well I have no clue he's not a friend of mine so I can't 
I can't see his post if he has other posts maybe he does post a bunch of posts every day all to his friends so nobody can see it so nobody will be looking at his profile and saying oh this guy you know I want to connect with him he's got cool stuff right now all he's got is one single cover photo post right so you got to make sure your posts are public so that's basically just go under your settings let's go over here I think it's under settings and privacy you got to go to privacy I'm not sure privacy is it there under security and login no it'd probably be under account settings no it's not I don't even know where it is but if you you google it you want to set your post to be public and that's not it um you want to set your post to be public and you want to set your comments to be public because some people the there's a default that only your friends can comment on your public posts which is the default which means that if somebody goes to your profile and you even if you posted a post public they can see it but they can't comment on it well you want people to be able to comment because it'll increase your uh engagement right it'll increase your engagement and it will allow you to reach more people because Facebook will share your you know one of the things with Facebook is that people don't see your posts unless they go to your profile except if Facebook decides to show to them in their feed right when you go to your just your Facebook feed whatever you see there is whatever you know Facebook decided to show right well how does this Facebook decide that it decides that based on the post being uh having engagement so whenever you post something Facebook will show it to a handful of people handful of your friends in the feed right in their feed and if they engage on it then Facebook's like oh this is a good post so I'm going to share it to more people and then it kind of you know balloons that way right so if there's lots of people that comment on it then it'll show to more so if your post is not public or people can't comment public people can't comment on it, you're not going to get as much reach right so that's why you got to do that so that's the other thing here right okay so post regularly things that your prospect will relate to so you know in my case my prospect my avatar somebody with kids uh somebody who's who's um, trying to build a business online somebody who's struggling with certain things so that is why when I when you see my stuff you know I post about my kids and having fun so people that don't have kids they're probably not gonna I mean sure they think probably the kids are cute or whatever but they're not going to relate to it as much right they're not going to be like you know like this picture of me being silly with uh, you know they're not going to relate to this as much because they're they're like you know you're not serious right so depending on who your avatar is your content has to be based on who your avatar is right what is it that they what is it that your avatar is interested in and by the way your avatar is your ideal client a single person that is your ideal client right so you gotta choose an avatar and people are like always they're asking me how do I know who my avatar is how do I know who my target market is how do I know who my you know how do I know well it's because you choose you choose to know who it is right and that's your decision is to who is it that you are going to attract right all right sorry so now like I said the next thing that's important is post regularly things your prospect relate to so like as I said before you got to know who your prospect is and you got to know who what your offer is what your offer gives them so all those things are obviously have to have to be known otherwise you're going to be posting random stuff and it's not going to relate and your audience is not going to relate to it after you've done all that how do you get people to actually connect with right so lots of leaders they talk about going into groups so you know if I if I look at in my groups if I just go to groups here you can see I'm in tons and tons and tons of groups right so groups I've joined right so these are groups I've joined right here there's a ton of them has to do with all sorts of different things these are all groups that I'm in that I joined right so I can go to uh let's say I go to click funnels Avengers right here right if I go to that group 
I can see the post of that group right I can see this this guy here Uzma Rahel right signed up to click funnels level coaching business hotel and five book done for oh that's exciting so I could you know engage on this right and I could just say that's 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 awesome all right I can engage on that so now what happens here and this is the thing you got to be careful right so Facebook might show a notification right that I commented on this guy's post in this group right it might I don't know how Facebook decides that but it certainly doesn't notify people all the time right then the next thing is like you can go through this and you can ask look at the questions right this person here's asking questions you can actually answer answer their questions that's one of the things that oh sorry <laughs> that's one of the things that leaders teach go to groups that your target market is in oh by the way yeah here's the here's the thing that's important to mention the groups that you should subscribe to should be groups that your target market your avatar is in if your avatar is not in that group it's like what's the point of being in that group if your avatar is not in there I mean sure you could be in a group that basically is something you like uh I don't know like cats or something and you're in that group just because you enjoy it but remember you're in business so try not to waste too much time on entertainment right try to be focused on building a business especially if you're using Facebook to build your business right to find leads okay so here's the thing so leaders will tell you that like I was saying leaders will tell you to go to groups engage on content in the group and the more you do it the more your name will show up in these you know comments right right now my name is right here in this con in this this post if I comment on this um my name's gonna be there too if I comment on this my name's gonna be there too all that stuff right and what happens is over time Facebook sees you as being active in the group and will start to notify people based on that you comment on their stuff and you know there's lots of there's lots of things going on with Facebook the problem is for me anyways is that you're at the mercy of Facebook's algorithm Facebook decides whether you whether your name shows up in the notifications or not. Facebook decides whether your post is seen by others Facebook decides all those things <laughs> I just uh, I don't know for me it's like why do I have to let why does Facebook decide for me right and that's you know I mean obviously I don't want this to be about a pitch or anything but I did create a tool that lets me control who I see right so right now if I'm in here and I go through I can decide right who I comment on by just basically this guy here as uh sim chef and if I want to you know I can I can react to this right and I can just say amazing right so I can actually comment on his post in the group right but the thing is that I want to know what this person's about right sure I see that he's posting something here about how he got some <laughs> income from um, ClickFunnels affiliate right but what does he do normally so then what I would do is I would click on his name here <laughs> actually is that which takes me to the group his group profile which is basically the same as his personal profile in terms of the cover photo and the profile picture but it doesn't it just shows me what he's posted in the group as you can see this person has posted only one thing in the group right so does that mean this person is not well he replied to somebody's comment he also liked somebody's comment and he also commented on this guy's post right so this I mean the next thing I would do is I would actually go to their profile view main profile right here whoops my it's just uh, yeah so I would go to these three dots here and I would click on view main profile that'll take me to his main Facebook profile so that'll let me see what he's about right so he's got three mutual friends of mine he's got a intro right here he's from Pakistan 
and he's got a couple of testimonials here that's that's pretty good you know in terms of he's a, a marketer right uh, but I mean depending on your target market obviously you're going to go find different people but when I look at this this is where I would be like okay I'm going to actually comment on this post I'm going to like this post I'm going to comment on it I'm going to go to this post I'm going to like this and comment on it I'm going to go to this post and comment on it so I'm actually going to go to his profile and comment on his post in his profile right so now that's that's great so now I got to go back to the group click on back click on back again now I'm back in the the group or I guess I could have opened it in a separate tab which I probably should have if I go to the next post in the group I right click on this open link in new tab instead that'll be better than me going back right so now this is again this is the person's group profile right and if I go here it takes me to their main profile so when I look at this particular person's what's this this person's profile you see that she posted 12 hours ago this she posted March 9th that um another post here so she's been active this person here this uh what's her name uh Uzma right so she's been active in ClickFunnels Avengers a little bit longer right so since March 9th or maybe yeah, I guess the first post would be January 28th right so she's been active a little bit longer which doesn't mean anything except for the fact that I can, that's all I see here is just the fate the the group post so then I still have to go to her main main profile which means another two clicks right and now I have her main profile and I can actually go and engage on her post here whether you know maybe the, maybe she looks like a good target market for me right uh my my target market of young entrepreneurs maybe right so I could do that if I wanted but did you see how much clicking is involved I got to go to the group then I got to look at the posts uh, that are here and I got to go and right click on it go to their main profile again click 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 and then I can engage on the stuff so that takes a long time so that's why I created the tool because for me basically gives me a list of the people directly I can just click straight on their names to go and get uh the their um so this is basically what it does is it does exactly what I just did it goes and gets John Crawford here goes and goes to their group profile to go find their personal profile and then it gives me that link here so then I would have this this name right here I just click on it it'll take me to their to their profile directly so I can engage on their post right and that's that's the next thing that's super important is engage on your prospects posts so why do you want to be engaging on your prospects posts when you engage in a group you're basically telling Facebook that you're potentially valuable to that group right and over time yes you do become valuable to that group which maybe is okay but it's it takes a while for that to happen to happen if you want to be really seen by your prospect you need to be engaging on their personal posts their posts on their personal profile because that will show them a notification that you commented on their post you know you got to ask yourself why are people posting on Facebook right why are they posting on Facebook they're posting on Facebook because they want to be seen they want people to like their posts they want people to comment on their posts so as soon as you do that they automatically think you're great because you're actually doing the stuff that they want you to do so you're engaging on their posts now some will say just you know navigate the feed right go through the news feed go through the news feed that's it just engage on that and again you're at the mercy of Facebook you're letting Facebook decide what you see and what you engage on based on your past behavior which you know in some cases is good but it's the problem with that is that it's always going to be the same people based on your friends list who, who are you friends with and what pages do you like right whereas if you do this using this tool which will give you the list of the people that are 
you know I can probably just let's just uh say by this so if you get this list of these people that are active in the group that you choose so you choose a group right it gives you a list here there's 9800 right now right so it gives you a list of these people and lets you choose to engage on their personal profiles this here tells me that I engaged on these three hours ago this was 20 hours ago this was yesterday two days ago three days ago whatever it lets me see when I engaged on their profiles so I know that I don't have to go to their page every single day and I can wait five days six days go visit them again afterwards that's why I have this sorted right here by the date so if I wanted to visit somebody again I probably wouldn't go to their you know to go to their uh profile until like six days later if I go scroll down here all these people I visited you know this four days five days so what I normally do is you can see this red box here I normally engage on 20 to 25 people every day so this says seven days ago right so all these people that I visited seven days ago I could probably visit them again now and it also gives there's all these other numbers I'm not going to get into all that stuff but if you want to get this it's basically activegroupusers.com which is going to be this right activegroupusers.com so you go to that you can get this tool uh let me actually show you what it looks like if I go to that let's just open a new well actually let's just open this in an incognito that's the same link that you'd be going to so activegroupusers.com all you got to do is you go to that link and then you basically click to register your free account you click on it and then you just can say just continue with Facebook that'll activate your account afterwards you just download the extension by clicking on this right and that lets you download the extension and uh right now it's in um it's in uh it's I already have it installed but you would just click this button to install it and after that we have a okay and then after that you would basically activate your extension by entering the access key so you can watch the video right here which is right here to see how to do the the next part but that's it you just that's and then that will give you a tool that gives you this list of people after you've entered the groups and there's a couple of things but that's all explained in the video and uh yeah so that's what I do that's what I do and that's like I said this is definitely what you need to be doing you need to be doing all these things if you want to have your prospects because you know when you're if you're engaging on people's stuff or posting in groups or commenting in groups nobody knows that you're serious if you don't have you know an inviting profile if you don't have the right looking posts if you don't like you got to do those things even if you're engaging on their stuff and they see you in the notification then go check your profile and your profile is empty they're not going to think you're serious so you got to do all these things to get there so hopefully this helped and if you have any questions as always you can always reach out and you can find me on pretty much every social media platform and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.